So in this tutorial, I'm going to take us through the process of creating a, I mean, texturing a headlight of a car. And uh, I'm going to do this to this Porsche we have over here. So basically, you can use this and uh, apply the same technique on any of your 3D models and make your headlights look very realistic. All right, so let's get started here. Now, if you take a look here, you can see I have multiple materials going on here. And that's because this specific headlight has multiple materials going on on uh, different areas. So if I go in here, I've already had the materials assigned to the specific pieces. So if I go on in here, you're going to see this Chrome here. If I click this material here and click on select, it gives me all those uh, materials that are applied to that Chrome. I mean, all those uh, meshes that apply to that material that we have going on. And then this one as well is applied to these pieces and this as well. So each of them are applied to specific parts of the mesh all along, just like that. So I'm going to take you guys through uh, each of these uh, materials, how I set them up in the shader editor so you can see how they are. So the first material, which is this, that I have assigned. So let me just go into material preview. If I select it, you can see this is what I have it assigned to. So that's metal chrome. And you can see it's just pure chrome with slight roughness, just a 0.1 roughness and full metallic. That's basically it. And now if we move on to the next one, we have roughness 0.2. It basically means I have the roughness set to 0.2, not 0.1. Again, full metallic, that's the only difference. And now I move on to the next one, this, and then let's select. You can see it's applied to this one. And this one is much more darker than the other chrome, but it's still a metal chrome. It's just a little bit darker than the others and that's because I changed the color value here a bit to a darker white than a pure white and the roughness is still 0.2 like that again full metallic and if I go on to this one as well it's a bit dark but not that dark it's almost like the other two we have up here but again with roughness of 0.2 assigned to this mesh area right here so it's basically this exact same one except the color is a bit lower over here. As you can see, it's a bit low over here and up here, it's a bit, it's more higher. So that's the only difference. And now if I move on to the next one, which is uh, the metal chrome itself, that one is just a non roughness uh, surface, just very smooth surface that I have applied to this piece over here. Let me just select it for you to see. So this piece over here has that material. All right, so basically that's it. Now in this tutorial, the main thing I wanna do I want to show you guys is how to create a xenon lens for your headlight. So I'm just going to take you guys through an easy step that I learned online as to how you can create a xenon lens in Blender. So this, I'm going to select the xenon lens shader over here. You can see I have nothing going on. So what I'm going to do first is add in a principled shader right here. And I'm going to set that principled shader into the surface. All right. So that's the first thing we have. Now I'm going to move that principled shader up here. And then let's change the base color to a pure red. So we're going to go over to RGB, increase the R value to a full one, and drop the others to a zero. Now I'm going to duplicate this one as well. Move it down here. I'm going to set this to a pure blue and drop the red value. So just like that. I mean the red, okay, yeah, a pure green. And I'm going to duplicate this one as well and make this one a pure blue. So let's drop the green and increase the blue just like that. All right, so what we're going to do now is let me just move this all the way to the side. I'm going to add in an add shader. So we're going to go over to shader, add shader right here. And I want to set this to the top. And I want to set this to the bottom. I can select this too and press F to fill in the node just like that. Now I'm going to duplicate this one as well. And I'm going to take this one and plug it to the top and take this and plug it to the bottom just like that. Now I'm going to set this directly into the surface and now we have to make this look like a glass right now it's just looking like a diffuse surface and to do that we're just going to increase the transmission for each of the nodes that we have going on so just a full one just increase the transmission to a full one i want to increase this one as well to a full one so i want to go over into solid view and uh, tweak this value so my my pc doesn't have troubles refreshing so i'm just going to drop the roughness now to zero for each of them Just like that and right here you can see we have it going on but uh it's not that visible if you take a look at the lens right here you can see we just have a glass but there's no uh how do you call it there's no zeniness going on is that even a word yeah there's no zeniness going on 
or whatever you want to say it okay so that's because uh, all of these uh, principal shader we have going on here have the same value for IOR set up we have to change the IOR values slightly for each of these uh, principal BSDF we have going on so let's go with a difference of 0 0.05 so right here we're going to set this to be 1.45 I mean 40 like this and you can see already the effect is kicking in and we're going to leave this at 1.45 and set this at 1.5 just like that and already you can see the xenon effect going on just like that all right so that's basically how we're going to set out the xenon effect but if you want to group this and then have it controlled by just one uh, node setup you, you can select all of these right here i want to press ctrl g to group it like this and i want to take this group input here and then set it to each of the values that we need in here so we can control it out of this side i mean out of that edit mode we have going on so let's go over here the first value we're going to plug this to is the red color i mean not that we we, we want to change that so let's ignore the color the base colors we don't want to change so we're going to keep those over there so one thing we want to change is the roughness all right so the roughness for all three of them so we're going to take this roughness plug it in the first one plug it in the second one we want them all to be the same value so I'm going to plug them to one node entry. That is one node input. So all the roughness have their values now. Now the next thing we want to input is the or the, uh, the IOR. All right. So I want to plug in the IOR for the first one right here. Sorry, that's not, not the exact same one, of course. We have to use a different input right here. And plug it into the IOR right here. Use a different input because they are different values. We can use the same thing. And I want to take this one as well and plug it in the last one just like that and finally in case you want to add in a normal onto your surface we're just going to put that in there put it in here as well and finally we're going to put it in the last one that's not visible all right there we go we're going to put it in the last one down there now if we get out of there we can just control it with these uh values we have going on but if you also want to control the the color of each of these uh principal shader you can just go ahead and then put in another input over here into each of the color and you can see right there it's adding it behind the uh, the notes right there like that all right so if you get out of that is what we have and you can control everything with just this node setup right here all right so now that's how you set up a uh, a xenon glass now let's take a look at how it looks in uh cycles so i'm going to press alternate to bring my glass that is this, this glass over over here it's just pure glass it's nothing else let me just show you what it looks like real quick this is what it is just plain white and roughness set to zero transmission sent to one and the transparent down here which reminds me of something let me just hide this real quick let's go back in here okay so for the xenon lens that we have going on you can see we have no transparency going on and as you can see it's casting a hard shadow which is unrealistic so we're going to fix that right now by adding in a uh, mixed shader right here i want to add in a transparent shader next right here i want to add in a light pass node under input all right so we're going to set the a shadow ray here to the factor over here i want to set the transparent to the bottom socket and that should get rid of the shadow for us it's going to take a while and there we go all right it's going to take a while to refresh this yeah there we go so that was all i needed to do now let's go back in here and let's take a look at what this looks like so i'm just going to save this over real quick let's press alternate and let's take a look at what this looks like in cycles all right, so you can see right there we have the Xenon effect going on. It is looking really, really good. But if you wanted to have more uh, color variation, that is the Xenon-ness, which is a word I came up with, to be more, what you want to do is you want to change the IOR difference. You want to make the difference a bit higher, okay? So if we go over in here, I want to set this to maybe 1.35, which makes it one difference. I want to set this to 1 point, 1 point, uh, let me see, is it five five yeah i think is it 1.55 yeah i think it's 1.55 so you can see it adds a bit more to it if you even wanted some more you can even go further down to maybe 1.25 and 1.65 and the more you increase the difference the more you make the difference the more you get the effect if you take a closer look you can see we have it going on let me just hide this glass real quick so we can see it again and there we go 
So you can see it right there. It's looking really, really good. And uh, that's basically how you do it. It's just that simple. It's nothing complicated. And yeah, this is where I'm going to end this tutorial. I will pretty much see you guys in the next video.